Question 3, Part A. Let the number of laptops not correctly plugged in be the random variable x1. x1 can be described by this binomial distribution. This question asks for the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1. We calculate this on our class pad. and obtain the value 0 0.9015 to four decimal places. Part B calls for a conditional probability. In this case, the probability of x1 less than five, given that x1 is greater than or equal to one. Using the probability relationship that probability A given B is equal to the probability of A intersection B divided by probability B, we get this is equal to the probability that X is in between one and four inclusive divided by the probability that x1 is greater than or equal to 1. And this can be calculated on our class pad. Zero point eight three. Nine four in part C. Let the time taken for a laptop to stop working be the random variable T1. T1 is distributed normally with mean of 190 minutes and a standard deviation of 6 minutes. This question requires us to find the probability of T less than 180 minutes. This probability is equal to 0.0478 to four decimal places. Part D requires the transformation of a proportion into a count using the fact that if p hat equals x over n, then this implies that x equals p hat multiplied by n, where x2 is the number of laptops out of the 100 with a battery life of less than three hours and n equals 100. So our probability that p hat is greater than or equal to 0 0.06 given that p hat is greater than or equal to 0 0.05 is equivalent to the probability that x is greater than or equal to 6 given that x2 is greater than or equal to 5. And this probability is equal to the probability that x2 is greater than or equal to 6 intersection x2 greater than or equal to 5 divided by the probability that x2 is greater than or equal to 5. We know that x2 is distributed according to bin 100 comma p where p equals 
0 0.0478, the answer from part C, we can calculate the probability to 0 0.658. Part E is about a normal distribution of a variable T2 with a known mean of 180, a known proportion of 0 0.12 greater than 190, and an unknown standard deviation. This standard deviation can be found using a Z distribution. So our Z score equivalent to 190 is 1. 175. This can be related to sigma via the z-score formula. giving a sigma value of 8.5107. Alternatively, the classbit has a very efficient way of handling this type of question, treating the normal distribution as an equation to be solved. We enter the information we know about the distribution. unknown standard deviation and the probability provided part F the probability that a laptop lasts more or less than three hours its mean life is equal to a half. So the probability of a pass, then a pass, then a fail is a half to the power of three or one eighth. In part G, to calculate a confidence interval, we need to know that p hat equals six out of 100 and we can calculate our confidence interval using the statistics mode of the class pad. Looking for a one proportion Z interval, the confidence level of 0.95, an X of six out of an N of 100. Giving us our interval 0 0.01 to 0 0.11, which
with boundaries to two decimal places. 3 part h part 1. The mean of this probability density function can be found by calculating mu equals the integral from 0 to 210 minutes of x by f of x dx. And this gives us a value of mu equals 170.01. H part two. The median of this probability density function can be found by solving this integral equation. The integral from zero to m of f of x dx equals to a half. This gives us an M value of 176.45. The other value for M 225 can be discarded as it lies outside the domain of the function. Alternatively, we could have solved the equation integral from M to 210 of f of x dx equals a half. This would have given us a value of m equals 176.43. The discrepancy between these two answers can be explained by the fact that f of x is not actually a probability density function, because the area under f of x between 0 and 210 is not equal to 1. 